Hello and welcome to another video from Digital Topic Up. Today, as you can probably tell by the sign behind me, I'm at Stansted Airport. This is the start of the £200 challenge. Now, because my rotten cover back is full, I couldn't actually bring the coffee up with me. Shocking behaviour. Anyway, let's see where our first flight of the day takes us now. Because of some of the connections, um, I recorded opening the envelopes ahead of time. So here is the first envelope. I'll take you back to two days ago when I opened them. Take it away, past Paul. So, past Paul here. Item one of nine. I genuinely have no idea what's in this envelope, along with the other nine. I didn't book them, I just gave my other half £200 I went book flights, thinking she was going to get about four. Nine. Slightly scared. Not going to lie. And she's literally put Christmas Christmas present style wrapping on this because there's that much cell tape. I'm going to struggle getting through these. So let's open the envelope. Dear Dewey Paul. If I've butchered that language, I apologise. So here's the list of... Uh, interesting facts we've got on this particular place it's home to 130 rivers sounds like brazil its name means blackpool in its own language birthplace of sam hain the patron saint of this place was not born here but kidnapped and was sold into slavery its national drink is drunk more in nigeria than where it originated Okay. Local football teams. Eureka Kells. No idea. Lakelands and Sporting Kilmore. Why does that sound like Scotland? <laughs> no idea. Let's see, shall we? <laughs> Yay! We're going to Dublin. We're literally going across the Irish Sea. That's going to be fun. Oh, well. And I get one personal item. That's nice of them, isn't it? Who are we flying with? I think Ryanair. It is Ryanair. I thought so. So, yeah. Our first stop is Dublin. I'll see you there. So... First airport we're flying to is a country I've never flown to, but I have been to before. Ireland, Dublin, home of St James's Gate, Croke Park, and the Aviva Stadium, all of which we will not see. <laughs> so let's get through security and let's see what's in Stansted Airport. It's currently five to four in the morning. <laughs> let's see how busy we are, shall we? I've just found a quiet spot outside the main duty-free area and things like that. Check this view of the apron. Ryanair planes as far as the eye can see. One of them is ours. And, check this out. There's actually a monorail. <laughs> MCO in Orlando's got one and so has Stansted. <laughs> Even though it is only quarter past five in the morning, Stansted is rammed. Quite a lot of early morning flights out of Stansted, which is nice. And when I went to the hotel I stayed at last night, I think it was China Southern that, that fly out of here as well. So it, it's not just Ryanair fly out of here, there's you know, quite a big carrier flight out of here as well. So I think we're going to. Just gonna have a look around duty free and then oh the gate gets cold. What if I have to get on the monorail to go go, go get me blame? <laughs> but yeah, so far so good. I've had some breakfast. Uh, gonna wait till we get to Dublin to have any more. And then when we get to Dublin, we'll see where we're going for the second one.
gonna be fun. So the gate for Dublin's been called, but sadly we're not getting on the monorail. Oh no! But, oh well, never mind, who cares? Anyway, so gate 52. Ryanair to Dublin. This is gonna be fun, isn't it? <laughs> Stansted is one of the cheapest airports in the UK to fly from, so I'm about to put the price of the flight in now. And we'll make our way to the gate and uh, probably talk to you again when we're boarding. Seven three seven max. Two seats to 9A. Excuse the window. But there is the one of the engine on the left engine of the 737 Max 8. So I think we're on well I think we're waiting for like three people. And there's like only 50 something people on this flight, so it's not full at all on my line for. So the good thing about that is it should be quite an easy transit to the other end when we get to Dublin, which gives us time to go back through security again in Dublin. But... Ladies and gentlemen, good morning from the flight deck, Mr. Camper speaking. My name's Adam, you're very welcome on board FR212 to Dublin. I'm joined in the flight deck today by Senior First Officer Robin, for ensuring your comfort and safety in the cabin, Diogo and his team. We've got a few bits of paperwork to complete before we push back and start up the engines. Today we're climbing up to 36,000 feet. Flight time in the region of one hour. Weather over in Dublin at the minute, very similar to here. Temperature is minus four. The cabin crew will shortly perform a safety demonstration. This is for your safety as well as that of those around you, so please pay close attention. Thanks for choosing to travel with Ryanair today. Hope you enjoy this flight us. Minus four, yes. So it's cold, but I'm not wearing a coat. This is going to be fun. But we're not staying in Dublin, are we? Well, I don't think we are anyway. I don't think we are. There's five flights today, and this is the first one, so worse than the four tickets. Who knows? So, uh, yeah, we're going to push back in a bit and then film the takeoff roll. Now, from what I've seen when I was in the terminal, is it's going to go from that end up there. So, this window should give me a perfect view of the terminal. But I'll see you when we're in the air.
thundering over England. Let's have a look at the seat 10737-800, operated by Ryanair, shall we? So, safety card, so being in the uh, seat pocket, which Ryanair doesn't have, put on the back of the seat, come with a QR code and things like that. Tray table, standard. Leg room, probably the same as the A321 that was on yesterday, British Airways. Seat's not too bad, I mean, perhaps that straight up right, because it's my neck.
early is waking up. So let's get through arrivals and obviously I can't record much of this because obviously I can't record, you know, them checking my passports and stuff. So uh, I'll see you on the other side of, of the exits. So, through security. Well, where exactly are we going? Well, to tell you that, we flash back to Paul from two days ago to tell you where we're off to. Past Paul again. So, we arrived in Dublin. Letter number two. Same cellar tape on the back. Let's have a look. Let's see if we can get this open any easier. The other place, the other place I'm thinking I'm going now is eastwards. I don't think we're going to be going west because I don't think I can get back for two for less than two hundred quid. Hey, Paul. Scandinavia, I think. So I'm thinking somewhere like Norway, Denmark, Sweden. One of those. Many well-known fairy tales were written here. Okay. In by the way, I these facts they've all been googled. In the 16th century, they were the capital for three other countries after it formed a union. Stone sound a bit more like Russia. The airport has been voted the most efficient 14 and 16 years it's been open. I, th I think it's. Home of, to the largest aquarium in Northern Europe. Right, okay, so yeah, we're looking Scandinavia territory. The locals enjoy salty licorice with a cold glass of milk. Okay. In their, lang in their language, there is no equivalent of please. That's a bit concerning. Right, yeah. The country's given away by the football team's names because I can't say one of them. So the two I can say, it's Bold Clubben Union and Bold Clubben AF 1893. The one I can't say is that one. Yeah. I'm going to butcher it here. Club in Haven's Bold Club. Sounds like a thing you find on Microsoft Word for like typing or something, I don't know. Need to know phrases. Hello and goodbye, Hedge. Good morning, God, God Morgan. How much? Have a megat? Maybe, I have no idea. Thank you, Tac Scal do have. Think. Velkommen til Copenhagen. It's not, it's not Norway, it's the other one. It's, I think, we're going Copenhagen. With Ryanair, I think. Yep, we're going Copenhagen with Ryanair. <laughs> Standard. And we've got, between the two flights, we have... Nearly three hours between the two flights. So, if Paul is filming this video, doesn't make th this flight in time, he's not trying hard enough. So, I'll see you all in Copenhagen. So, Copenhagen. The capital of Denmark. That is a country I have never been to before. So that'd be quite nice. I mean, I didn't know much about Copenhagen at all, really. I knew it had a football team, FC Copenhagen. They've played in the Champions League for many years and have even played Man City a few times. So that's really all I knew about them, really. Uh, but yeah. Copenhagen. That's going to be fun. <laughs> I've got to say it was easy to get through security. Like, I wanted to see like how difficult it was to get through security. It wasn't. Similar to Manchester, no, similar to Manchester and Stansted really. Everything out your bag and off your pop. So yeah. Welcome to Dublin, airport. <laughs> Standard shops. We've literally just walked through duty free, past the Irish store. I have a, a few hours. 
Um, but we have made it plenty of time, we're through, we're cleared. No problems with security, we cleared it without any issues. One thing I did find, I mean it was different to what I'm used to, so... But still, no issues. So let's go and find somewhere to uh, sit and chill, shall we? We're in Dublin Airport. I want to find somewhere to sit. There's one thing that comes out of Dublin that I absolutely love. No, it's not Gaelic football. It's not even the Irish football team. It's Guinness. And I would be rude to not sit in the Guinness bar next to the harp. For a pint of the good stuff and sit down and wait for our flight. This has got to be the most expensive pint of Guinness I've ever bought in my life. Six euros. <laughs> And in Dublin, the way. And Joe, you know I've got behind me see the harp. <laughs> just, just so you're aware, it's only it's quarter to nine in the morning, and I'm already having a pint. <laughs> but hey, you only come to Dublin Airport once. <laughs> well, I hope I only come to Dublin Airport once on this trip. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I paid for fast track as well. That wasn't needed. <laughs> they just glided straight through, it was easy. On that flight from Stansted, there was only 50 people on the entire flight. 50. <laughs> I think everyone had their own everyone had their own aisle. It was like all their own lane of seats. So I don't think we're gonna be like going to Copenhagen though. I could be wrong, I could be I could be wrong. I mean I thought the last one was gonna be full, so I think I'll wait till I'm on the plane to make that assumption. But yeah, I'm gonna sit here, enjoy a pint of Guinness, and watch. Well, I've got cricket on that screen, and I've got hockey on that screen. So I'm all sported up at this time of the morning. So I'll see you when either my flight's called or I see a plane that you might want to see. One thing I'm starting to love about Dublin Airport is the ability to see planes out of the window. I mean, check this view out. So we've got selection of Ryanair. We've got your like freight. We've got FedEx, DHL. I don't know what that one is. Private jet, Aer Lingus. Looking beautiful on the tarmac. Private jet with a huge wingspan. Can't really see much over there. Now I can't tell what livery that is. Actually, you can, it's Turkish. <laughs> and, is that what I think it is? Is that an A350? We all know how much I love that plane. I think that is an A350. Well, that, yep, it's an A350. In a livery I've not seen before, Turkish, so that's nice. The problem is, it's. I'm trying to get a good picture of it, and every time I try, there's something in the way. <laughs> Actually, I might have found a perfect one there. So yeah, Turkish Airlines A350. What a beautiful thing to do while waiting for me flight. Watch planes. Right, so, the plane's starting to board. This one looks full. And I'm sat right, and I'm sat in the middle of the A3. So we're not going to get a take off video on this one. Keep live as much as I can as we make our way towards Copenhagen. I got no guess they were 15 minutes late even though the plane arrived early. What's what the plane is?
Copenhagen. <laughs> but we've made it. First ever trip to Denmark and look at this. SAS leaving. Just got to Copenhagen. Because of the length of the video, <laughs> I'm going to have to split up day one. I didn't think I'd have to do that. So, next week, we'll start off from Copenhagen and see where we end up from there. you have to tune in next week to find out. So, hope you enjoyed part one. If you did, don't forget to please like, share, comment and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to miss the video. And I'll see you in the next one.